The Twin Paradox, the popular version. The Twin Paradox, as commonly described, runs along a well-worn track. There are twins. Let's call one of them Alice. Alice stays at home on the Earth. The other one is Bob. Bob hops into a flying saucer and travels at speed V, close to the speed of light C, in the direction of Proxima Centauri B, which is approximately four light years from Earth. Because of time dilation, which occurs at high speed, Bob's clocks, Bob's breathing and Bob's everything goes slow compared to Alice back on Earth. Bob experiences less time and so ages less. This is demonstrated soundly by having Bob return to the Earth. To Alice the time is about nine years while to Bob the time is about three years for the round trip. And indeed when Bob jumps out of the saucer on Earth he is now biologically six years younger than Alice. This point can be made even stronger by making the trip 40 years, Alice will be old or dead, and Bob still in the prime of his life. But this is not the paradox. The paradox is that if velocity is relative, then why can it not be said that Alice and the Earth travel four light years from Bob, who is stationary in his saucer? And then, when they meet again, Alice would be the younger. This point can be emphasized by putting both Alice and Bob into sources and thinking of the whole thing from the point of view of Charlie Muggins, a third twin, who stays in between on the Earth. The two twins scoot off in opposite directions and return to Charlie. If there is no importance to left and right, then why should there be any difference between the effect on Alice and Bob? Even if there were both a different age to Charlie, they should be the same age as each other. And to emphasize this even more, consider the superhero version in which Alice, Charlie and Bob are floating in a vast, dark, empty void and moving around with respect to each other. Each will claim that the other two should be younger when they meet again. Keep in mind that if all motion was relative, then time dilation as popularly supposed would indeed be a paradox. Somewhere in here, something has to break in the principle of relative motion.